Please remember guys, this video is for educational, documentary, and entertainment purposes only. We always recommend that you follow your laws and do not condone the use of any illegal substances. Hi again. again. Welcome back to the very first Seed to Harvest episode from the new Grow Room Studio. Guys, we got Mephisto's Iced and Baked. She is a tester seed. We had some ups and downs with her, let's just say. We definitely had some ups and downs in the new studio, guys, learning to deal with the new environment. We, know, we have not had all tents on yet, guys, but I will tell you, <laughs> it gets hot in here. Figuring out the grows again. This one's definitely have some issues. Mephisto has always been one of our favorite genetics, hands down. So when they gave us the opportunity to test out some of their genetics, uh, we couldn't wait. Yeah, Mephisto has always delivered in terms of autoflowers some of the best that we've grown. We've always been impressed by the quality of their genetics. So when they asked us to try out a new tester strain um, that they're working on, we jumped at the chance. Definitely some ups and downs and some exciting things from the new grow, but overall she turned out great, guys. You might be surprised. This is one actually Neil wanted to give up on. Do we kill it? Do we start it over? No. I couldn't say no to her. So again, like we said, ups and downs. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way she turned out. Yeah, I think she turned out great. Not the not the biggest yielder as you'll see, but she was worth the wait and she turned out pretty good. <laughs> Guys, Mephisto is definitely renowned for their autoflower genetics. They did win the 2023 American Autoflower Cup as the best breeder. And we're actually going to be judges at the 2024 American Autoflower Cup. That is going to be super exciting. So if you've grown Mephisto strains before, you know that they're high quality and some of the best autoflowers on the market. Sit back. Roll one up. Pack your bowls. Pack your bing bongs. <laughs> and get ready for ice and bake. Let's get hugging. I'm going to be doing the Mephisto uh, genetics, the very, very new Iced and Baked. That's brand new, the Iced and Baked. So we're super, we're super excited to try that one. We just put them into a Tupperware with some moist paper towel. Like Helen said, you can put them in the dark warm. Sometimes I'll just put them right on top of the tent. We also last night mixed up our soil for these pots here. You want to tell them what's up in there? We just use our, um, obviously our Harvest Hero because we love this. Right, some perlite. Um, and then we use just the Fox Farm Ocean Forest and then just some HP um, regular potting soil mix. This is also the very first time we set up and use the all new AC Infinity 4x4 grow kit. This kit includes everything you need to get started on your very first grow. They have various sizes of the kits, but this is the 4x4 kit with the S44 grow light, T6 exhaust fan, circulating clip-on fans, controller 69, fabric pots, and literally everything you need to get your first grow going with a complete tent setup. This is also our very first run using the all new AC Infinity self-watering bases. We saw you guys had some questions and were curious on how these worked. We were too, so we decided to run Ice and Bake on the new self-watering base from AC Infinity. So this is basically a reservoir. Yeah, here's the reservoir part where you put the water. All you have to do is set this center uh, portion in that holds the weight, and then you cut the strings, um, and then basically you set the top on, and then it also has a little valve here, so when you fill the basin up, it shows how much water's in it. So you know when it's empty, you know where it's at, and then the strings wick up the water from the basin through the fabric pot and then into the bottom of the plant. So it's like a wicking system um, that will just make sure they don't dry out. So I'm really curious to see how it works compared to like the grow buckets that we've ran or some of the other stuff that see, we, we really, really liked. I really, really liked the grow buckets and that's why I was gonna use until Neil reminded me that we got these. Right. So we decided to try them. Yeah, for sure. So we're super excited to try those. Did get all the tents set up, all the lights are ready to go. So, so right? Excited. Yeah, it's gonna be fun once we once we get everything dialed in here. It's gonna be it's gonna be real dope. I'm gonna put the two autos in here, and this is gonna be the auto tent, as you yep. guys probably already know. If you don't, this is the auto tent. Her, well, we got right. some stuff popping up in there. Oh, she up? Oh dang! Look at that. We literally just put that thing in on lunch break, guys. <gasps> She's the first baby. Right? Oh, I'm so excited. Heck yes. She got two little little whispers. That's exciting. Oh, well, hello, little baby. I'm gonna put some little domes over these like you suggested. I'm gonna kick that light up. She's only on 20%. But she's way, she's way high in the tent. I think we should drop this light down. 
What's up, girlfriend? <laughs> How are you? Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, that's fun. I'm so excited. The day after you put them in the paper towel, that was the first one out the next day. And it had the biggest tap root when you put it in. I think there's something wrong with her. Because I'm looking at it and it looks like it's it's like it got three leaves instead of two. There is something weird going on there. Do you not see that? You see the one curling down? Yeah. She's got, that's a, also yeah. A, she leaf. got that's a little that's she's got a, a little leaf. something mutinous. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, I see, see that. She's gonna be a freak. It's a freak. But just got like a, a kind of three leaf kind of weird situation going on. So we don't really know what's up with that, but we're gonna keep running it. We did have some issues in the beginning of the grow here and the very first grows in the new studio. We didn't really have a way to control our humidity um, and we weren't really monitoring some of the key aspects of the grow like VPD, PPFD, and CO2 in the tent. We did add the Pulse Pro, which is a pretty awesome advanced monitoring system. It does track the PPFD and PAR readings so you can take measurements and make sure you're getting the proper amount of light on your plants. It also checks CO2 ppm in the room and has a really great web app that monitors your humidity, temperature, dew point, VPD, light output, relative humidity, and everything else. So adding the pulse really was a key thing that helped us see that our VPD was way off and not appropriate for seedlings, causing issues in these beginning grows. Well, you should probably get that humidifier running. It's, thir <laughs> it's, it's low in here, it's 35% right now. If you guys want to check out some live data from the readings over this grow from Pulse, click check out the link in the description below. You can see the actual readings of when we added the humidifier and how much of a difference it made in our VPD. We added the humidifier from AC Infinity to help dial it in, connected to the controller 69, which would ramp on and off the humidifier to help keep the grow dialed, and it made a huge difference. But, um... Here's back before we had the humidifier. We like to cook VPD at VPD was ridiculous. It was off. And then as soon as we hooked that up and just set it, it started to maintain um, with our target ones, despite the issues and the power outages, that's when it would spike up. But it made the VPD go down and the plants immediately responded and started growing bigger. It's been running perfect. And once we did that, the, the, the autos just started immediately looking like freaking way better. Ice and baked has since really started to yeah it's basically as soon as we got the vpd or the put the humidifier in as and dialed soon. the vpd like they just immediately like Explode leaves stuck it. out looked amazingly better so <laughs> even though they were growing before they weren't nearly doing as well so ice and baked is like really slow grower we did lose power for over two days I don't so know. I don't know it if got that really cool. affected It got really much. cold in here. And there was like, it got super dry. There was obviously no lights, but it's just growing so slow. You can definitely see some, like, look at this leaf mutation action right here. Like this. There's three sides to it, and it's like off kilter the sides. Yeah, there's definitely, yeah, three sets of branches coming off. Although the first set? The first set was only two. Oh no, it even has a third set underneath. Did we kill it? Did we start it over? No, I can't <laughs> kill it. Look at the size difference. <laughs> yeah, seriously, look same, at the size same, difference. We started, remember guys, we started same these the exact. same day. Um, and this baby's got like just nothing going on. Like the, the ice and baked is just really struggling uh, in terms of just growing. And it's actually looking pretty sad now. Yeah, this one's definitely having some issues. That's why, obviously, it's a tester, I imagine. She's looking a little weepy, but I think uh, I think they're gonna be all right. It but kept wanting to lean. It kept wanting to lean over. It kept leaning over. over. So like today, I took a steak and I basically turned it over, and it's it's actually working. Sometimes we've seen these smaller plants, like they end up being super duper frosty. Like the best and, smoke hands down. Yeah, but like for some reason you're and never gonna get it. Super dank, and they're just like tiny, and you're like, oh man, it turned out so good, but it's so tiny. It's so tiny. I mean, well, that's why it's a tester, and it's not like a public. It is sale. a tester. So they're probably these are probably ones as they breed through and get it better um, before they do like a full release. So we're we're excited to give it a shot. You know, maybe it's not the best example <laughs> of one. Uh, but we still want to grow it out. She's really gnarly. She definitely has pistol hairs going on in here. Um, no signs of balls, but she's just a runt, guys. I think she's probably really not going to get much bigger than this, honestly. I feel like we've grown enough autos to know what to expect. I, this is definitely just going to be 
I'm taking of, this bottom one. One of those off. babies. She tiny, but we, we still gonna let her go. She And she usually always looks weepy like this too. Even yeah, though she does. all the other plants in there are praying and just looking pretty happy, this one is just kind of constantly weepy. Take all these, these weird three leaves off too. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hype man, chop that. It's chop day, y'all. It's chop day, look at these. Look at these little weird three leafers. I had to get rid of these. This is just driving me crazy. <laughs> like, look at that. Which, I mean, that's not too uncommon. I've noticed with autos. I've seen quite a few autos do the three leaves in the beginning. So she's a small baby. Oof, she a runty. <laughs> um, but I refuse to give up on her. So here we are. Heaven gives up on no plan. And you know what? She looks a lot better than she did. Right, she was kind of struggling. She's always been just kind of a little weepy and sad. This is iced and baked tester uh, from Mephisto. So this is a new strain. This is um, the tester strain. It's right in now. the testing phase, so don't don't judge her. I, I said we should chuck her, but Heaven says, no, we're gonna we're grow this baby. You know, I <laughs> the reason why I can't give up on her is because I've had some small but mighty flowers uh, come out of these small plants. Right. I mean, the flowers themselves uh, that have come out of my very, very smallest plants have always been so good to me. So I couldn't give up. I right. was like, you know what? She'll, she'll do great. So uh, you see how this now, I'll actually pull it over so you can see. You see how she has enough where she can kind of be pu pulled down again and I have room in the pot. So that's when I usually just pull it over and then move it to the edge of the pot as yep. she grows. And it seems to be doing it at a, it seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah, as far as training goes, I mean, she's just a small plant, um, but we still want to run her out, give her some love. And uh, she's definitely got those pistol hairs popping. So she's for sure female. Um, she's just a, little, just a little slow going. She's just a little slow going. You know what? We're just, we're gonna still love her. We're gonna love her the same. We, we love her the same. She still has a little place in our heart, so. She definitely took off. Once we did that first defol and get rid of all her little mutant leaves, she she, she really took that off. Look. In true Mephisto form, yep, there is, a, there's some actual trichomes that you can see. Already, see, that's why I couldn't give up on her. She's gonna be, she's gonna be, Super frosty, I bet. These when they Should turn I take out some little, of these lower they're off? they're gonna be frosty. Yeah, actually, yeah. maybe. Should Although, I, I mean, really, a, lower everything stuff? is getting light here. She's definitely gotten some ups um, compared to just the beginning, where she was always just real kind of a slow starter. Maybe we did something wrong at the beginning. Um, maybe it was just because she's a little tester, there we go. getting some light odors already on this. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, you are really. Ooh, sour. I bet she's just gonna be end up being a frosty monster if we keep her rocking and rolling. So we're gonna give her a little top dress too. I actually planted this one the same day as this one. So these are actually the same exact day. She's came back um, some pretty well. She's really di kind of dialed herself back in um, and got gotten a little bigger. She's, a, she's a smaller on the auto. I mean, compared to fast buds, like they're, you know, there's not much comparison there, but this is a tester too. So it's a, it's a new strain that, that we've never ran before and it's not released yet. Obviously we're testing. <gasps> Whoa, man. Oh man, down. you totally blasted the light too with the top of the plant, you almost snapped her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was paying attention to all Oh, we getting, we getting live in here, guys. She's definitely, I'd say the bud development's going faster. I bet it's because she's smaller and Mephisto's always tend to be extremely fast, but very minor. See that, guys? That just cropped up the yeah, other day. This, just, it, this morning I noticed it. Yup, and what do you think that is? It's like a rusty spot right at the top. Too much? I think the, I, the leaves are very dark. So what is that, it's usually like too much nitrogen maybe? It's weird, yeah, I think it is nitrogen. Look, she's got the claw. See that? Yeah. That's new. Oh yeah, look at down here. That's a sign that I'm getting some look right down here. Some too. curling leaves, some clawing. Yeah, that's not good. So how do I, how do I, what do I do? What do we do, guys? 
A mini flush, Shannon says. A mini flush, I agree. Flushing is the way. If, they, if you feel like things are getting out of control, you better just flush that. Nitrogen toxicity, says growing so mouth. Need to flush. Okay, so should we flush her right now? Boom, that's what we got the sink for. I was thinking you could put it up here and it would just run down in there and then you could just oh, put a right. cup under and catch some of the water. So I probably won't have to water her for like a week, huh? After this. I mean, yeah, you definitely want to let it dry out. All right, got some runoff. We got some runoff? I think, well, I mean, you usually want to let it run off for a while. If you're going to flush, you, I think you need to do way more water than that. What do you guys think? A couple gallons for sure. Yeah. That's what I would do when I've flushed before is you want to flush for a couple gallons uh, just to make sure you're actually carrying it out. But we can test the, the EC. Do you think that's why she didn't grow very good at first? It was does, it, because it, it, the soil wasn't good for this specific plant? It definitely could be. Okay. Because this, I, I swear I did the same exact thing in this that I did for green crack. Oh, she's peeing. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Mode doo doo. And then stick her in the water. This is EC? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what it's supposed to be for, I guess, organic soils. We're at 2.5. What kind of EC, I guess, should we be looking for? I've never yeah. tested it with... Um, I have no idea. Yeah. Hit the pH. Look at the pH, babe. What kind of pH are we getting over here? And pH is at... Our water is high going in, though, guys. It is. Check what our water is normally. Yeah. Good experiment. And it's going in at... Oh, yeah. Pretty high. And it's stabilizing at that. So 8.19 is what we're getting. So... Do you want to test? Michael says we want to be around 1.5 on EC, so it's probably way higher. Patrick saying soil's too hot too. Too much How? nitrogen. I haven't even really given it anything. All right, well I'm just gonna let this flow through a little bit more. Da -da 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 -da. Mephisto, as always, coming in. You know, even though this one was small, and actually we saw on Instagram. Grill Go Grow grew one of these testers out as well um, and also had the very dark kind of nitrogen issues like we were having. Um, so maybe it's common to the strain um, or maybe it just has different kind of feeding needs, but I would say bud development, it is a much smaller plant and they typically tend to finish out faster. She's always had really dark leaves from the beginning and we did flush her and right. I haven't done much to her since her flush, to be honest with you guys. I've just been watering her. Right. Um, I haven't needed to give her anything because, I mean, I, I think that she had overabundance. I just think that she's really sensitive to, to nutrients and especially nitrogen. Yeah. Um, so I didn't want to, I didn't really want to overdo it. Honestly, this one I did not give much at all. I did the one feed and then it looked like it was too much for it and I haven't done anything since except for water it. Right. So, so a little, it is what it is. She's a, she's a little sensitive, uh, but also just looking like it's gonna be a slapper. She's yeah. pretty, she's super frosty and uh, you know, it's gonna be a stout plant, but we think it's really gonna be frosty. As you guys can see, remember last time we had those rust spots? Yeah, these are the only spots that showed up though, is that top leaf right Yup, we did that flush um, last Wednesday and it seemed to just turn right around. It really did. Man, these, these nugs look like they're gonna be dense and it looks like they're just gonna keep getting frostier and frostier. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. I have been bottering, bottle, bottom watering with this one too. Tell me about uh -huh. the bottering. In from the watering base, and it keeps water for a while. So I, I say I have all I've done is water it, but I barely even done that, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the watering bases have been working out great. As we can see down in here, definitely female. She's slapping for sure. Woo Iced and baked, Mephisto. We, Neil Custom. tried getting me to get rid of her. Now she's still tiny. And we did have some problems with her. We did give her a flush at one point because she showed some signs of toxicity. Let me just pull her out. If you can see kind of the tips of her leaves here, we saw some, some rusting right here. Just 
and it only showed right here at the top. We haven't seen it on any of the other leaves at all, but as soon as I saw that little rusty spot on top, I knew something was up, because that's definitely a sign of some kind of nutrient issue. Some issues. So we asked some of our patrons, and we uh, kind of dove in, and we actually, there was another uh, creator on Instagram that was growing the same strain. Grow, this, grow, grow. Because this, again, is a tester from Mephisto. This is not, I don't even think this is out right now. Yeah, she's she's in the uh, testing phases. So Neil actually tried getting me to get rid of her. So she's all, she's been pretty stout and small, but these flowers, like I, I just knew they were gonna be perfect. She, she a little runky. But we just thought that, you know, I think that she's just sensitive to nitrogen. Right. Because as I flushed her, I didn't want her to run out of nutrients and because um, we realized the nutrient that she was, uh, well, showing that she was being sensitive to is nitrogen. So I actually, uh, after I flushed her, I gave her a teaspoon of this with another gallon and it's called uh, Humboldt Crystal Burst. It's just a 15-15. Yes. I gave it this and she's been just chirping out like nobody's business, you guys. Yeah, she's been doing well, seems to be recovering, and she's gonna be a fast finisher. Like, what one is now this? Now, that isn't is organic, and it was kind of a synganic situation, but I didn't know what to do because yeah, I didn't down want on, her to not have anything. So, but it, <laughs> it kind of worked out for me, which right. doesn't always happen, guys, so. Sometimes you just gotta try it and experiment <laughs> and see what happens, but man, she's she's been doing great. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of her. She's super tiny, but these flowers are, I'm, I bet she's gonna smoke amazing. I'm pretty happy about right? it. Right, she's gonna, I bet she's gonna finish probably within a week. What do you think she smells like? Kind of rubber? She got some, she got some rubber burns. But she smells kind of rubbery, but also kind of like a baked good. It's so weird. Right. Very, it's, very... It's like sweet, but rubbery. I don't know how to explain it, but smell good. And I'm just, I'm pretty proud of her for being a little runt. I think I want to harvest her next week. Yeah, she's the next. You think she's going to be ready by then? I don't think so. She's getting close, definitely closer than any of the other ones, but... she's got like... I don't think seven -ish she's... Seven-ish days. I don't think she's ready. Not right now. She will be in a week. I, I, can, I can guarantee it, actually. You guys saw, she, was, she struggled. Right. She was, but like, I knew that for some reason, I just knew that these flowers were gonna be just something. Little frosty babies? Yes. She actually kind of reminds me, the smell reminds me of Creme de la Creme. Yeah? Mm-hmm, like that rubbery smell. You remember? Definitely a lot of these. I always check these guys. Now, after, since I've had some plants term, whenever I see these around here and I'm like halfway through the grow or just to check, I always pinch those. On them too. I always pinch those to see um, if a seed pops out. Cause if seeds are developing, they'll be in there. Oh, that's, ooh, she's smelling oh, good. Always smell your finger. Yeah. <laughs> she's so little, but look, she's just, I don't know. I love her. All right. Yeah, right. The rips. No, I'm just kidding. Oh no, it's it is something. You see that moving? No. Right there. See that? Wiggling around? What is that? It looks to me very much like um, when I got thrips before. So you guys can kind of see uh, those teeny little specky spots. This isn't a macro, so I can't get too close. Those little specky spots that you see aren't actually like bugs or anything. Those are like the little spit spots, usually where they're kind of eating or doing something. I freaking screwed the plants up, guys. I screwed them up in the, um, remember last time the thrips? And I was like, next tomorrow, Dr. Zymes. Well, I went a little too hard with the Dr. Zymes and uh, caused some damage on the plants sprayed. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah, we'll talk because... about that. Accidents happen. But, you know, that's, that's how you learn. She's ready to go, look at her, she's just gorgeous. Besides those awful, awful leaves, because Neil decided to go ham in here with the doctor's arms. I'm very upset because she was the first one to flower out in here. Right. So, but as you can see, she's pushing through her last couple days here. Yeah, she's she's, she's finishing fast Mephisto style for sure. She was starting to purple out really nice. If you can kind of see from the under underbelly of the leaves where yeah. she was headed. 
Yeah. Until the Zymes hit her. She fading. She fading out great, but uh, yeah, the Dugs look frosty. She's definitely gonna finish fast her normal Mephistos. Small, definitely small plant. Ah, uh, I'm so ready to have some new, new, new. This is probably gonna be like looking really thick. Yeah, she is thick. She's uh, she's a tiny. I knew she was gonna be tiny and mighty. I just had a feeling. She tiny. That shot's not really giving it any injustice because it's like. It looks like fuzzy over here. That's, that's how frosty it is. Those look so good. Ooh. I can't wait to smell them. When are you thinking of chop, trying to chop this? I wanted to yeah. chop it today, but you said no. I think it's too soon. I want to chop it. You guys, please tell me that. All right, no, no, ready. don't. What do you think <laughs> of that? I see a couple amber, but not a whole lot. A lot of clear, a lot of cloudy. Clear. I see some clear and cloudy. Not a whole lot of amber in here, but they are starting amber. That's higher up the plant. Yeah, it, that's, it's kind of it's yeah. kind of hitting that like you can see that green ass pistol hair coming out. It's hitting that phase like kind of later in flower mm -hmm. where it gets like that last push of popping okay. pistol hairs. And finally, day 84 for ice and baked. It was time for the chop. Talking my shit like. Bitch, I'm really him, hold up. Look, walking this bitch like, hey. Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like, hey. Bitch, I'm really him. Don't believe me, come and see me. Got three wishes from my genie. Now I'm on your local TV. Y'all on tour, got bitches screaming. Say she wanna come and see me. When I'm in a local city, I'm like, pause though. Please step aside so they can see me. And I walk up in this bitch like, yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like Bitch, I'm really him, oh God Walking this bitch like Yeah, I'm really him Talking my shit like Bitch, I'm really him, oh I'm the God. realest from my city That's on my knee, that's on TV, that's on mama It's chop day Get to the chopper! Really, really love these flowers They're just pretty, they're just Pretty flowers. Yeah. I, I want to grow her out again. She was a little hard to grow at first, but I yeah. Think, I think we can do better with her. She definitely she definitely had some some goes, but I mean she smells but now amazing. Now that I'm understanding of how the genetics work, I think I can do better. Yeah. Because, yeah, because we found out, you know, until not until she was growing that she was like very sensitive to nitrogen. Yeah, she seemed to be, she seemed to react and get really dark with all, all the same feeding compared to like green crack that was doing really well. And we taking this thing down and we're um, going to be moving it into the dry tents. Chop it, but. Chop that. Ooh, dog one. Look at Give that. it a snap. Oh, beauty queen oh, wow. right there. Look at that beauty though. Oh, Lord. I Small but dog. mighty and exactly. stinky. Yeah, Ooh, she is looking so good, you guys. I, we the need to smell. When the technology comes, we're gonna have smell a vision. Ooh, I'm so excited to have some new stuff in the drama. If you guys were wondering, yes, I did take a bong hit before we started on that. <clears throat> is that even Sorry. a question? Who out there is fired up? What are you guys smoking on? <laughs> uh, wow. She really got I some beautiful it. colors. Let's really take a look. Does. Look at the Show bottom of her leaves. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, let's take a look in. How cool. Look at that. So definitely not the biggest yielder, guys, no. but definitely some frosty nugs up in here. We dry tents in it. Definitely not going to be a, a floor flex full house. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> what are, why are some up here and some down low? Um, I figured, you know. My man's just... like spread that stank out. Yeah, exactly. So the plan, guys, I just hooked this up before. So this tent is connected through to the Patreon tent from the top here. So then this the, the Patreon tent has the T6 that's pulling air. So when everything's zipped up, it's actually pulling air from the bottom um, of the new dry tent here. So it, that's what gets the air circulation pulling in from the bottom up through into here and then outside. Um, so that's kind of the plan how we're working it to make the, make the work tent it. work. That's how we're working it. I mean, it's, this, it's what I'm attempting. If you can't tell, we work it. I think it's gonna work. <laughs> work it? I think it's gonna work it, but you know, this is my, these are my hopes. I'll be surprised if I have uh, over an ounce here. 
After it's all said and done, yeah, I'm guessing maybe one or two short people probs. Ooh! She rolling. So just like that, we're into we're into keyword. Oh, I'm so happy. My baby was get my baby was like, this thing's coming down today. <laughs> we ain't waiting. It's like as soon as I put the seed in the dirt, I'm like, can we smoke it now? <laughs> is it done yet? <laughs> you guys know, is it done yet? I think ice and baked is gonna be trimmed up in about one turn. For real? She's not she's not very leafy. There ain't very much. Buds are I did have a grove bag up Tiny. there for these babies. All right, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all. You know what? I'm still proud of her. So go ahead, guys. Go ahead and put the guesstimates in. <laughs> Let's get those guesstimates going. I'm betting about 1.75. I, I want to say she's just going to be over it. Over it. Over, just over two? Michael says 0.8. He don't even think we're going to hit an O on this one. Oh, you know maybe, what? That's fair, Michael. Maybe, That's might. a fair assessment. I'm not yeah, even mad at you. Might. <laughs> you might be right. Look at that, you guys. And and just like that, the whole plant is trimmed. <laughs> what are you, a turtle? I think you can. I think you can rotate it faster than that. Tell me what to do. Tell me how to live my life. The bountiful harvest. <laughs> you know what? She's the first one that we got to have like anything good out of. Right? Bam, ba -da -bam, ba -da -bam, ba -da -bam. Who's the closest so far? Oh man, they look frosty though. She smells like a dream. She's very sticky. Very kind of garlicky, actually. Getting, garlic getting a little garlic off of her. Got a little garlic, no? So that's that's the that's it. Dun, da, da, da. Thirty-one point two one grams. Thirty-one point two one grams, which means it's one one point one ounces. <laughs> it's not about the yield. It's about the quality. 1.1 ounce. 1.1, but man, some of these are looking great. Plenty of trim. And we will, pro we always be saving this stuff and putting it and gonna be putting it in our extract craft. Yeah, so. we're gonna fire up the old extract craft and start making some stuff. At the end, we also like to run our plants through the tea check to give us a potency test. Tea check is an at-home potency tester, which is gonna test the total cannabinoids of your dried flour, oils, infusions, concentrates, and many other things. So we like to take a little sample of the flower of the plants we grow just to kind of see where we're at. This is not going to be like a full breakdown like a HPLC machine does in a lab, but it gives you an idea of where your plants are at and gives you some numbers. And it lets you test other things like your oils and infusions to help you dial in recipes. This run of ice and bake tested out at 18.2% total cannabinoids for this dried flower. We were pretty impressed and happy with this result and it definitely has some great effects and smoke. This is one that we definitely want to try and run again just because we did have some issues over the grow. So hopefully we can learn this run and do a better one next time. But overall, always fun and entertaining, even though it wasn't the largest harvest we've ever had, still a great plant. And we're still super happy to be able to test new genetics. Mephisto even had us fill out a questionnaire after growing ice and bait, giving feedback about the grow, our experiences growing it and our results. To me, that's something that sets the breeders apart taking that information from the testers, learning from it, and developing their strains to be the best they can be. And Mephisto truly has separated themselves from the others and some of the highest quality auto flower genetics that are out there. Make sure to follow along on Instagram for all the behind the scenes content. Join our Patreon for weekly live streams where we film and grow along with you guys and have fun and hang out. And check us out on our live streams every other Sunday right here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, fam. We'll see you in the next one.